Today's video brought to you by Surfer Boy Pizza. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to another Friday evening. It's good to see everybody. We we're just having a little bit of fun. Uh, so, are you guys ready? I hope you guys are ready. The spirits seem ready. They've been flying around up there. Caught some pretty good orbs up there thus far. Um, also, I have the necrophonics already set up and they were chattering away. Um, I have a friend with us tonight that's decided to come join us for our painting endeavor. Can you guys hear me okay? I think it's, I think it's good. It's good, okay. Uh, so, our friend Mike, who is the one who builds our containment cabinets, has decided to come over and paint with us with the spirits. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, it's great to see you spooksters here. I hope that you guys are going to paint along tonight. If you decide not to, that's totally okay. But at the end of the video, when everybody's done with their painting, um, I encourage you to take a snapshot with your phone. This way you can send it into our Spookster chat and we can all try to see and discover and maybe theorize as to what possibly may be going on in each other's paintings. And become part of it. Exactly. So we're also going to take whatever images you guys submit and we're going to be able to print uh, little images of these off and put them on our bulletin board up in the museum. So if you guys want to submit your artwork, we will be able to actually have your artwork up in the museum from our live streams. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, there's not going to be uh, any rules tonight. You can use whatever... Uh, medium you want to use for painting, whether you want to use colored pencils, markers, finger paints, um, dirt, whatever. I mean, you do what you want to do. I'm not going to use dirt. I'm going to use paints and paintbrushes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine our investigation, our solo investigations um, with painting. And we've decided that we're going to be blindfolded. So we're going to attempt to see if the spirits will guide our hands here in the museum and allow us to automatic paint and see what we gather. Now, you guys, I want you to try to open your third eyes. We will take a few minutes when we start to talk to the spirits in the museum. And I want to see if you guys can get any impressions from the spirits here, or maybe even your spirits at home, if you have spirits. And use your third eye. Maybe you get a color. Maybe you get an image. Maybe you get an ink blot at the end, and you have no idea what you're looking at. Maybe you get a symbol. It does not matter. You do not have to have skills. It doesn't matter however it comes out. If you want to be blindfolded, you can try it. If you don't want to make a mess, don't be blindfolded. You can allow your third eye, your inner TV, if you will, that's what I call it, um, to speak to you. You may only get a color. You may get a shadow. It doesn't matter. This is the point is we're going to be able to theorize and kind of look at these abstract images or maybe it's a picture maybe you get a scene maybe you get an image who knows it doesn't matter whatever connects with you the point is is that you guys are going to be able to watch us make a fool of ourselves blindfolded while you guys create images from what the spirits are telling us so I'm hoping that at the end, you guys, well, it doesn't matter if you just get a line at the end. If you guys want to do a blindfold, it does not matter. This is all part of the experiment. So that being said, the four of us, because there's four of us tonight. I had to recount. That's pretty pathetic. Um, <laughs> there's four of us here. We are going to do it blindfolded. So you guys will see that we have the room set up. Anna has her own canvas and paintbrush on her chalkboard. 
obviously I didn't put paint on her paintbrush. I don't want to get it all over her, but who knows? Maybe they can come stick their finger in some paint. So this is what tonight's going to be. I hope you guys are going to enjoy and I hope that you guys are going to join in and paint along with us. It's going to be fun. It's going to be wacky. We really try to um, mix humor in the mix with the paranormal because it brings in that high vibration and that happy vibration and it allows the spirit children to communicate better with us so in hopes uh that this is going to work out um i'm going to give us a couple of minutes to get ready before we send our first uh contestant or our first uh victim depending on what side of the token you're on um <laughs> They're all trying to decide in the background as to who's going first. They're all pointing at me. It's a pure family. You gotta see it to believe it, my dudes. So uh we're all gonna be rocking the surfer boy pizza blindfolded glasses. If you guys are Stranger Things fans, uh I don't know if you saw that episode, but we are going to be attempting this. I hope, I hope that we can all manage to hit the actual canvas with the paintbrush. I don't know, man. I, we're going to be blindfolded. What if I'm like going to hit it and I realize that I'm like way off and I paint the camera or something? I don't know, man. I'm sure you guys didn't hear a word she just said. But um, also, I wanted to I wanted to run it by you guys who are here. Um, I'm thinking this week because I have important things that I want to share with you guys that is not gonna be able to be kept uh, for just members. I was thinking about uploading two public videos this week instead of doing a public video and a members video um i will make up for it in the next members video will be something really awesome but i was i really want i'm working on something with the portal that i really want to share and the next uh thing is kind of going along with the investigations that we're doing this month so i really wanted to share it to everybody so i'm thinking that this week we're going to have two public videos instead of a public video and a members video so our members will still get two videos unfortunately um everybody will be seeing these videos but i think it's important that all of our spooksters know what's going on and i just i i really wanted to share this with everybody so i'm hoping that you guys will understand our members and uh that we will be doing something equally cool for you guys later next week so that being said, uh, we're going to bring up upstairs. We're going to listen to the necrophonics for just a few minutes uh, while we organize ourselves and we get ready for some painting fun. So when we get up there, um, I want the perverse person to just kind of sit there and focus on the museum and communicate with the spirits and have them come to you and see if uh, they can also reach out to the spoosters so that I do want to say one thing. I, I feel automatic writing something that happens that kind of what we need to talk about and we need to have something that we need to talk about. Right. Yeah. You can do it however you want to do it. And that's the thing about this experiment is that it's going to be everybody who does it, you're going to be seeing a different tactic, a different way of doing it. Because I've not like been like, you need to do this. This is how it needs to be done. No, I want everybody to use however they feel comfortable to allow the spirits to communicate through their painting. So it doesn't matter. Um, you're not going to be judged. It's completely like, I, it doesn't matter. As long as there's a mark on your paper at the end, we can all try to theorize something. So... Again, this is all experiments in the end, and we're going to see if we have any paranormal activity while we're doing the paintings. So even if we don't get anything from painting at all, 
we're still doing a paranormal investigation, listening to spirit voices, seeing if we get any anomalies. Kat had an amazing anomaly just the last night on her live when that spirit came up and touched her hair and we caught it on camera with this camera so you never know what's going to happen on our lives i know a lot of times that we're just looking at a room that's not doing anything but you never know when something's going to happen because real paranormal you cannot make it happen we are only up there to try to feed the environment and to use trigger objects such as the paint tonight to see if we can get the spirits to come to us and communicate i do have an emf meter but it's the really really hardcore meter that it has to be an extremely hard hit for that meter to turn on so we'll know if we get a spirit that actually walks up to us because that meter will actually light up um, it does not false trigger that thing it, it like mostly never goes off for us so i'll be excited to see if we can get anything on that the shot in the dark but we're gonna try so we just have the meter and the spirit box and the rest is all gonna be experiences and visual so you guys let us know if you see here or feel anything and that being said we are going to pull up the upstairs and i'm going to shut up now and uh we will be joining you upstairs very shortly and we will all begin our painting extravagant
Hey Natalie, welcome. I saw you just jumped in here. I thought I'd come back in because we are getting ready to start our experiment. We all just did our bathroom breaks, so we don't pee ourselves when we get startled upstairs by something. Um, so when we were up there earlier, we actually had three knocks come across um, when Mike and I were up there by ourselves. So that was really interesting. Tonight, Natalie, uh, since you joined the party a little late, um, we're going to be doing the painting, as you know. And uh, what I wanted to do is get you guys ready to start because when the first person goes upstairs to sit down to start painting, it's it's go time because they're they're going to be ready to go, um, ready to communicate with the spirits. I'm sure that they'll sit there and talk to the spirits in the room, and you guys will hear them. Hello, Sharon. Um, so uh, everybody, if you are going to pick up paint tonight, grab your paints, your markers, your pencils, whatever you decided to use as your medium for painting or making art. Um, we are going to take the moment now and communicate to the spirits around you. And I'm actually going to shut this music off because it's really distracting. Hold on, guys. Um, it's funny, yes, but it's distracting. Go away. Okay. Um, so I want us all to take a moment and try to connect to the spirits in the museum to your spirits at home, to any spirits around you that are of positive, high vibration, that want to communicate tonight. We are trying to communicate with the objects in the museum and channel anything you want to tell us through painting. So now is the time for you guys, you guys at home watching, to open up your third eye, your inner TV, if you will, and try to allow images to flood your brain. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter if you're only seeing a color, a shadow, a dot. It doesn't matter. There's no judgment here. Anything that comes through, just let it flow. And if you see something that you want to paint, paint it. If you see a symbol or an image or a color or anything, it doesn't matter. There's no judgment at the end. If Right. I, yeah, I told them they can use paint. They can use uh, pen and paper. They can use whatever they want. So the point is, if you have a line at the end of it, it doesn't matter. If you have an ink blot, if you just have a color, it does not matter. When we're done, I want you guys to take a photo of whatever you've painted and send it into our Spookster chat. This way we can share um, what you guys have actually created or communicated with in the museum on our bulletin board in the museum. So we'll be able to feature your art if you want it to be here. And we'll be able to theorize and try to discover what possibly we may be seeing in these paintings. So again, this is all experimental. We have no idea if anything's going to happen, but we're also doing a paranormal investigation while we paint. And you guys get to watch us upstairs, and we are going to try to attempt to do it blindfolded so that uh, it's funny and maybe the energy will feed the children's spirits who are also going to be painting. Anna behind uh, the easel there um, by the chalkboard actually has her own paintbrush and easel. So I'm hoping that maybe the children's spirits will come in and communicate with us. We have the spirit uh, necrophonics going. We have a K2 lantern. Um, and we're just going to see if we get any anomalies. Maybe we get a mist. Maybe we get some orbs. Maybe we get an apparition. Who knows? Maybe one of the dolls move. Maybe something happens. Um, so. We have the painting and the investigation side going here. So we're kind of combining the two. So now's the time. If you guys can just take a moment and try to open your third eye, try to center yourself and allow yourself to connect tonight. We will cut cords when we're done. So have no fear. 
and we've already done uh, containment rituals on the negative things. So we're just working with the positive spirits tonight and uh, we are going to begin. So we're going to be sending our first person up and uh, I hope that you guys are ready. I can't see the comments yet, but I think um, everybody is ready and I hope that this works. So uh, I'm going to jump out here. We're going to send the first person up in just a minute. So you guys will see them pop in upstairs and we are going to begin as soon as they start painting. You guys go right ahead. Um, you guys will have the duration of the entire live to create your image as uh, we are going to be doing like 15, 20 minute uh, intervals. Um, so we're all going to have to create ours blindfolded in like 15 minutes. So ours is going to be a little bit different than yours. Um, but that's what's going to make this so interesting is that we're trying two different experiments tonight. So, uh, I'm just going to go through before we send the person up and just see who's actually in chat. Cause I forgot to say who was here. Adam. Hello. Uh, it's good to see you. I'm, I'm good. To, it's good to see that you're feeling dandy tonight. God, I can't even talk right now. What the heck is going on? Um, I'm already stumbling over my words, guys. Okay. So Adam's here. Natalie's here. Jasmine's here. Awesome. We got everybody here and we got past paranormal here. We got cat here. Great. Um, I'm sure there's a few other people that I'm just not seeing in the chat and we may have some people stumble in. That's okay. Um, again, this is the first time we're doing this. So let's get started. See you guys.
I unmuted the mic earlier. Why is it muted? All right, guys. I'm also bringing the ovulus in, too, because I think that'll be interesting. No. Something just whispered at the door over there. Shut the door. I just heard it. That was wasn't crazy. me. Your throne awaits. I get my antennas up in the air. Give it a little water. Oh, okay. Right. okay, so I'm going to turn... Uh, let's see down a little. Should I turn it up more? Or is that what? I can't hear you over the quietness. Okay, I can't hear it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you might have to. Are they yeah. all open? No, 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 Okay, so this said cycle. So she's opening the paints now, guys, because I didn't open the paints. Ha ha. Purple. It did. Oh, that's crazy. Did you guys hear it say purple? And that's the only color I have up so It far literally purple. said purple. Uh, Can you tell me the next color I'm doing? I turned it down. I hope. All right. This said maybe. Like no happy medium with that. It's like really loud or really quiet. Okay, so she was putting purple paint and it said purple. Are you kidding? It says the video cut out when it happened. I hate our Wi-Fi. We're, we're going to try to get a new Wi-Fi system. I just heard a child. I just heard a child, too. What color are we doing now? It's very laggy. Hold on, guys. I want white. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I want all the colors. All right. all right, let me know if the if that's better, guys. Oh, good. What is the last color I was holding in my hand? What color is she holding now? All right. So I have her paint out. All right. Now I need my glasses. No, you don't. He's back. Yeah, you're going to have to look until you get your paintbrush wet and then get out. It told you to get out. No, it told you to get out. Oh, it told me to get out. Okay, okay. I'm going to get out. It's time for the children to paint with cat for now, okay? I'm going to leave. All right, good luck. I absolutely cannot do it all. Then do it with the... I don't know. No, just go. Okay. I wish to connect and communicate with something. Oh, got it. I am offering my phone. 
What is she doing, they just said. What is she doing? I don't even know if I'm into paint here. Bye. Fun. Finger painting here. I said I'm actually painting. This is interesting. Hey, that's what I'm doing. I just got the word done at the end. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to have to look at this madness. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to put the glasses off. I'm going to grab. I'm going to put my beautiful work in there. I am done. Thank you, beautiful spirits. The floor is shifted under my feet. And I feel like I am going around in a busy circle. All right, so who's next, guys? Send them on up. I'm going to stop the obelisk. Okay, Mike's on his way up. Don't get pain everywhere. Does finger paints and then touches everything. 
Don't get it on my glasses. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's hard to. Okay, so my thing comes from here. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably thicker of all of them, so it's probably the one you want to use here. And just repeat what it says because we're not going to be able to share it. Okay. Okay. All right. Have fun. I just said, oh, what is he doing? So what is he doing? <laughs> so I just said, what the? something up.
Stop. What else would you like painted? something just passed in front of me. Something's walking around up there, folks. Okay, who is it over there? Whoa. Okay, there's something going on on the other side. Oh, Capoli. <laughs> Something's walking around on the other side. It's really heavy if you sat down. Okay, you guys, be good over there. We're painting, if you want to help paint, that's one thing. But be good. You want to tell us who you are? Who? What? You can talk to the box. Who are you? Do you have a name? Tell us your name. Hugh. Hugh? Did you say Hugh? All right, everything's on slide. Did you just say I can see you? Okay, who's whispering? Who is that female voice that's whispering? What? Okay, there's a thump. All right, guys, you can behave yourself over here. There was a loud, another big thump like somebody just sat down again. Okay, I'm gonna draw a little paint a little more, but I'm hoping to get painting without you guys too bad over there. What? What did you just say? What did you just say? Did you say this is what? Hello. Hello. Did you just say hello? So who's sitting over there? Come on, tell me your name. What? Come on, talk to me. Hello. John, Did you say your name is John? What's your last name, John? Can you tell me your last name? What?
Anything else you want me to paint? Because I can't see really what I'm painting. Hmm? What do you want to talk about? What? Hello. <laughs> they said that you can take cats and put yours where cats is, and if you can run cats down. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's a very interesting bumping and banging. Yeah. It sounded like somebody was walking along and just like in the chair, like oh. like the hip, oh. the heaviness, and then like someone just sat. And name John came up. Oh, jeez. So I don't know who John is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm. John. Oh. Well, good luck. Well, okay. Oh. <laughs> May the, may the force be with you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I was hoping for more colors than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you may want to turn the color wheel a little bit. I think yeah. black is the primary color for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. Later. Later, dude. I'll see you in a little bit. Glasses are coming off. Glasses are going off. So where'd you guys? I swear you heard Elon come through. That's so weird. Uh, 
Hey kids. No. Kids from Elon. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for everything that happened to you guys. Oh, I'm making mm -hmm. it. Not one word on that. Ovulus. Can you make the ovulus go off? Can you say something over the ovulus? So many voices in there. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Yeah, smell it. It's just so weird. It's just so much. It's going to be. Oh, what was that? Hello, children. Everybody's okay. Um, Remember, not everybody's going to be mean to you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's so weird. Fuck. Thank you. 
I keep having these different words pop in my head, so like, I don't know, it's just like having them work with me, but, whoa, who's that? What's your name? Tell me your name. Um. <laughs> no. no, yes, no. I feel like someone's standing behind me. I'm kind of creeping out right now. The energy just kind of shifted a little bit for me. And, um, maybe it's soon. Maybe it's Dave. I don't know, but someone's back there. I don't know. Um, yeah. Dave, is that you? Yeah. See, now they're touching my hair. Touching the back of my head. Who is it? Yeah. Is that Dave? Dave. I mean, that's okay. uh, well, God bless you. Peace something, peace something. Okay, kids, got you okay on the picture? You guys, could, you guys told me what to put up there, so. Can you say what I might have painted about? Secret can you and me. I feel like someone is up behind me, you guys. Like I feel like their hip is on the back of my head. That's the feeling I got right now. It's kind of creepy. Um you can back away, you're kind of in the space, I don't give you permission. Wow, that was creepy. All right, we're good now. What was that? That reminded me of Creepers Creepers. Wow. Who said that? Who made that funny noise? Who's trying to scare me or something? Because it's not going to work. But that was good. Wow. That don't sound friendly. That don't sound friendly. What was that? Who was that? Him. Him. Wow. Who was that? Who 
Louis touching my arm right now. All those I I can make out some of the words, but not many. Can you tell us, tell me um, the name of the person who visiting our house tonight? <laughs> Who is it? Can you tell me his name? Can you tell me his name? Tell me someone's name. Who's downstairs right now? Or better yet, who do you want to come upstairs? Who, who do you want upstairs with you guys? What's the person's name? Uh, oh, God. Just like, something just like rubbed against the back of my leg like an animal or cat or dog or something. So it felt like, that was kind of weird. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was really that I told people about this. Three times to shut up. Three times shut up to. So Adam says you look like Elton John. <laughs> I love Elton John. He said if you painted a rocket, he's going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it's kind of scary, man. <laughs> All right. That old came across. Oh, you put words on I there. Did. They're popping in my head left and right. That's awesome. All right. Let's put yours up there. And... We'll grab my keys. Yeah. All right, yeah. you get the glasses. Okay, we're good to go now. There you are, kid. All right. Feel free to sit at my computer if you want to listen on my headphones. Sounds good. Okay. All right, so here's Shane's masterpiece. Oh. That was a disturbing voice. Hello, spirits. Oh, I'm going to pan this. All right. I'm going to go blind here, but I'm going to. Can you use this device to communicate? I'm going to set it right here. Okay. You're also not using this. I haven't seen this go off. 
All right, I'm going to put the glasses on. Roger. It just said Roger on the obelisk. Who's Roger? All right, I'm going to use this paintbrush and I'm going to start painting. I'm not going to be able to see, so I'm going to rely on you children and the heavy shepherd use. It's going crazy now. Take malevolent. Yes. The obelisk is all of a sudden talking. It said take and malevolent. It looked like the camera just moved. It looked like the camera just wobbled. Did it look like it moved to you guys? All right. So I'm going to go blind now. Can the spirits and the people here in the museum come use my hand to paint something to communicate with me? I want to know what you have to say. This says yank. Please don't yank my hair. It's delicate. Thank you. Okay. All right. Shy? Who's shy? Come forward and choose a color. What color? Miss. I heard the obelisk say miss. Where's the canvas? Okay. All right. We're going to do this. I think it said turn or turd. I can't. I hope it didn't say turd. Please don't turd. Did it say turn? All right. Show me what you want me to know. Uh, realm of Kasha. Robin, begin. I'm trying. It just said poltergeist. Nerve. All right, what color now? Choose a color. Ooh, I just felt a pull down here, so I don't know what that just said on the obelisk. I'm going to have to look at the list of the words that we got tonight because I can't hear all of them. All right. Use my energy to paint. Tell me what you want me to paint. Show me what you want me to know. Different. Oh, whoops. I'm going to hit the board. Hit the board, please. No.
which is weird because I'm like, I'm afraid I'm not even painting on the canvas. All right, I'm gonna just set it on the very bottom. Can you move my arm and paint what you want me to see? It's so weird to paint and not have any idea what is going on. Just kind of letting my hands go with the flow. Well, I just felt something over here. Who was that? I'm, I'm feeling something over here. Can you come forward and paint? I could, this could be one big giant blob. I would have no idea. Pick a color. I'm starting to feel like um almost like a tingling on the back of my head a little bit. Is there somebody behind me? I stopped talking on the uh, obelisk. Do you have anything else you want me to paint or want to say on this? Please come forward and communicate. Ooh, I'm not even I'm not even on the canvas. All right. I'm just trying to be able to see where the canvas is. Okay. All right. I'm on the canvas. Oh, it just said crystal feeling, I think it said. I don't know if that's what it said. Keep immersion. Keep immersion. Fish. The sin. What is it saying? Within magic. Wow, this is a weird painting, guys. I just had to look. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. All right, I'm going to do one more. Okay, choose one more color. It said turn over. Turn over. Go ahead, turn this. 
capital. All right, I turned the paint over. Can you see the color now? All right. Hi. Oh, who just said hi? Just heard yes twice. Use the paintbrush, paint. Use the paintbrush to communicate. Go ahead. I'm leaving my hand nice and loose so you can move my hand. Show me what you want to show me. The person. Person beside. It just said that there's a person beside me. All right, I think, I think, I think this is done. All right, so I want to take a moment. It said evil. Evil came through. It said Adam on the obelisk. Adam, deal. Warm found. I'll have to save the I'll have to take a picture of the log. It's never said Adam on the obelisk before. All right. I'm going to get paint all over the obelisk because that's cool. Um, <laughs> um I'm gonna head downstairs, guys. I don't know if it was me. I showed the paint's dry, so it must have got set down in paint. Um, and I'm going to bring these downstairs, and I'll see you guys down there. And we will discuss. Okay, friends, I am here. Let's get this set up here. Here we go. Let me know if you can hear me. So uh, these glasses, again, were completely blindfold glasses. So I'm like trying to figure out where the canvas was <laughs> by feeling and trying to keep the paintbrush on the actual canvas. Surprisingly, I didn't end up with paint all over myself. Can you mute that? So it's not me. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. Uh, yeah. So this was interesting. Hello, Kenneth. It's good to see you pop in. A little uh, late for you too you're not usually up this late so it's great to see you we always enjoy seeing you um so i'm trying to check to make sure i don't have paint that's going to get all over my shirt mm -hmm. <laughs> so um we just did painting with the spirits upstairs blindfolded with my cool uh stranger things surfer boy pizza glasses surfer boy pizza um so, try not to ruin these paintings here. 
We're going to discuss the paintings that we just did. I brought them all down here so that we can, I'm going to put my fashionable glasses back on. I was just going to say we can just do it here sitting in the seat because it's easier. Um, so the first one, since you guys didn't see mine, we'll start with mine, yep. considering I was last. So this is mine. Lots of colors. Mine's the most colorful. I win. I win. There's a pair of eyes on yours. There are eyes. Oh, I got paint on myself. Uh, it, like devil it does something. kind of look like something bad yeah, down there. I don't know what that says. Okay, guys. Let me know what yeah, objects do you think we're communicating to me through this painting, this bottle. blind painting. Yeah, that's a skull. Yeah, that's they're like skull. shaking hands or something. They're holding hands. Those are lovers. That's Dave and Bonnie. Aww. Oh. Oh, wait. Good. They look oh, like they're oh, watching TV. Dave and Bonnie, they're holding hands, yeah. watching TV. Yeah, watching what if it's Livy and Dalton? Okay. Oh, I don't that's know. That's awesome. Does it say them? Adam says it says them. Them. Die them. D I E. Them. Die them. D I E. Is that a what? What is this way? thing in the middle here? Oh, it looks like a. It looks like a wheelchair. It does. Look, oh God, it's, it's a chair, chair with a wheel, right? Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, Tell yeah, me if that looks like a, or like a. Yeah, the back and the yeah, seat, the wheel, the legs. It does look like a and wheelchair. the guy is doing stunts on the back of the wheelchair. Is he popping a wheelie? <laughs> is a circus clown on the wheelchair? <laughs> what? I don't know what this, this is here. This, yeah. this, is he slapping this dude in the face? <laughs> uh, Guys, I got lots of people on here. That is definitely a wheelchair. It looks underneath the L. Looks like a skull and crossbones. Is that? Oh, it, I see. I saw a keyhole with an X. All right. But yeah, no, I see a skull and crossbones. Yeah. What? Uh, this looks like a T E L L. Tell. Yeah, see where the two people are holding hands? That looks like a T. Yeah, looks like the TV behind This them. looks like a D. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a TV to me, and the and oh, two yeah, people. Yeah, they're watching are those my pigtails? Is that Dr. Dave? I mean, Dr. Dave. Dr. 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 Ray? Dr. I don't know. Ray. Having coffee with you? Hey, know? Jasmine. It's good to see you pop in. It's okay if you're late. Not a problem. You can always rewatch if you decide you want more of what we uh, have going on. Right now, we're analyzing the paintings that we did blindfolded with my Stranger Things glasses you gotta see it to believe it my dudes uh i don't know if those you guys are stranger like things eyeballs up above yeah, the guy that's, yeah, those they do eyeballs. look like eyeballs it's showing that everybody's being watched. or maybe he's an alien and his eyes are up here What's this green? this is what disturbs me here this looks like a weird what, what does that, that say what, is, what does that say oh i see the them t h E yeah. M, oh, yeah. and then it looks like a D, and the eyes going to right, going from the D to the E. See it with a with a dot above the eye. Oh yeah, dye right them. here. Yeah, so that says dye them. Dye them. Dye them. Mm -hmm. That's so rude. Proper English, please. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so these are our very first spirit paintings. Now, um, I want you guys, if you painted along, now is the time also for you guys to send over any paintings or pictures. If you guys want to share, you do not have to. There's no pressure. Um, yes, but if you want to send a snapshot of whatever you created to the Spookster chat, I can go check here in just a minute. I'll give you guys time. No rush. Um, and I will go see if we can analyze those afterwards so all right so that's the first one um okay so we'll do cats next uh that's wait no that's not that's who's it? oh this is mike's okay 
so um definitely go to the spookster chat guys send in a snapshot of anything you created if you guys painted along yes man this is mike after yeah, Mike's in the background. Mike painted with us, so we're gonna look at Mike's painting next. The other day. This is Mike. If you guys missed it, definitely go back and rewatch. It was pretty entertaining and pretty interesting. We painted blindfold, and it was really hard to to see the canvas. But uh, so this one was Mike's creation. Oh, and there's actually quite a few colors in there, Mike. <laughs> yeah, look at all the colors. Oh, very colorful very colorful um yeah so to me what i see is a cemetery i definitely see a cemetery up there the and i was definitely like feeling like there's a portal going on here in the cemetery so i was wondering there's a couple of things that I was theorizing. Uh, it looks like a fishbowl, Adam says. <laughs> it does kind of look like a fishbowl. Is there a goldfish in there? <laughs> Don't overfeed it. It'll turn into a shark. Um, so I was theorizing that this could either be the haunted cemetery, Anderson Cemetery, the one that we've gone to many Same. times on our channel. Jasmine says she sees a cemetery. Oh, yeah. yeah, I see the cloud That's above. Absolutely. Too, Absolutely. So we go to a haunted cemetery very often. That's, uh, you know, about 40 minutes from here. And um, we have filmed many videos there. You guys know it's Anderson Cemetery. It's the most haunted cemetery in Maine. And we oftentimes see little cars there when we're there because a lot of times people will bring toys for the spirits. Well, one of these times when we were leaving, we had a car whipped at us. It's happened more than once, but we had a blue car with a white stripe whipped at us. And um, we actually kept that car and it's actually upstairs next to where we were painting. So we I, gave them another we did bring another toy. So we swapped toys with them. Um, because there's literally cars all through the cemetery, guys. So we didn't take anything without bringing something else. Um, but because they threw it at us at our car, we felt like they wanted us to have it. So we then gave them our spookster car because we had brought a trigger car that actually, if you go look at the video, you'll see. But we put stickers all over the car that said like Sinister Streams and, and Sinister Foreman's Investigations. And we left a big car for them there. So we ended up taking this one home as like a little souvenir of our investigation because we had such a phenomenal experience that we wanted to commemorate that. And uh, I wonder, yes, I wonder if this could be maybe possibly a connection to the spirits there because of that car or we were also sitting right next to the grave, which we found outside on the property where we are now, where the museum is, because there is another house that was originally built in the 1700s that's on the property in the side yard. We found a grave over there. So is oh. this signifying that there used to be a cemetery here? I want to say one other thing, too. When we went to Anderson, what was in the center aisle when we went down on the ground? Oh, yeah. Another thing uh, Kat just mentioned, when we went to Anderson in one of our videos, we were walking down the center um, aisle in the cemetery and somebody would, had used salt and put a giant pentagram in the center of the cemetery and it had killed the grass. So there was... In the left-hand side, I remember drawing a star. Yeah, I actually see the star right here. Yeah, I see the star. You did draw a star. And there was a pentagram. If you go back, this year, these are videos from years ago. There was a pentagram that was drawn in that cemetery. And do you guys see the star? I really feel like you were connecting yeah. with the, yeah. with Anderson yeah. Cemetery. I, I felt like I did a star, but I did yeah. To me, that, that's what this symbolizes to me. And it's so funny because we actually have those videos as proof of that on the channel so that is so cool i think yours is my favorite so far <laughs> yeah, <I like> that. <laughs> like, that is amazing here take that over there um okay so next is uh we'll do shane we'll do shane okay so shane actually got some writing on yeah, his which is amazing. really really interesting i love it i love having 
Hello, vicious alien clown. It's good to see you. Um, we're analyzing our spirit paintings. We were just upstairs in the museum. Um, we're, we're towards the end now, guys. So you missed the actual experience, experiment if you're tuning in now. Um, but feel free to go back and watch. It was awesome. We all blindfolded. We were all blindfolded. These are my blindfolded glasses. You got to see it to believe it, my dudes. Uh, my Stranger Things glasses so um we all did like 15 minutes painting blind upstairs in the museum and these are our paintings and we're analyzing what we see but we also had our spooksters the people watching paint along and they're going to send us pictures of anything that they created while they were channeling the museum and don't let me forget to do a cord cutting ritual real yes. quick before yes. we end because yes. i don't want to forget that <clears throat> but especially next I heard footsteps on the phone. right yeah especially the footsteps mike heard upstairs when he was doing his session he had something walking around up there oh, so wow. so this is um chain's wow. painting and i see a lot of people yeah this yeah. this yeah. guy yeah. here is actually this holding is, an this object is the, this is the fight ring at a this is all Elon. This like, is Elon. what? This one looks like they're getting a bucket of something dumped on them. Wow, Shane. Look at this. That really speaks volumes, Oh, yeah, like, my like goodness. Like Look at all the kids. Oh, it's got the F. Look like, it's getting, like, somebody swearing. Oh, yeah, I do see a swear this there, I think. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> I do see a lawn right here. This person here That's with his it. arms up in the air, like he's getting ready to throw a chair or something. Yeah, it looks like a chair or an object of something. That's crazy. You can actually see like the outline of the building. Do you know what I'm getting? The top left figure. I'm, I'm getting that next Joe. What the one all this one? At the very top. Yeah. Hey, it does have to the right top. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot about the dunce hat. Yep. Like doorway. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. That wow. is really... Uh, I think it says Elan. There's an N. So Elan's the name of that school that we just watched that video on, Adam, with all of the abuse from uh, the, the fight rings to all of that. That whole video that we just did and what we're studying all month with the School for Troubled Teens. Um, Elan was the name of the school. And they actually had fight rings um, as punishment that the students would actually surround the person being punished and beat the crap out of them. And somebody actually died. A, a boy, Phil, was his name, yeah. right? Yeah. Phil, um, you can look it all up. Yeah, we actually have the obituary and everything upstairs. But those masks that we have upstairs are actually from that school. And that's why we're studying schoolhouse spirits this month. Um, but that, to me, that's a work of art right there. That's amazing. That's amazing. I actually want to display that with our Elan artifacts. Yeah, me too. That's amazing. Amazing. Perfect. <clears throat> and then the last one, guys, is Cat's Painting. And this one to me is amazing too. All of them are so cool and unique. And that's why I love doing these experiments with multiple people. And I can't wait to see if you guys um, want to send your artwork, if you guys paint it along with us. And I want to do this again, because I think that this was a really cool experiment. So I think we're going to try to do this again. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. You got to let me know in the comments, because I don't know without your feedback, if you guys like these experiments, okay? I really need the help with the feedback and the comments on, on YouTube because it really helps me decide what I'm doing next, where I'm going with things. So, Kat, this is amazing. I definitely see a hanging man yeah. or a hanging person. And that's what I saw in my head. Is a hanging man. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely I see saw, that. You know the game Hang Man? That's just what I saw. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a hanged person. But if you look right here, it almost looks like a claw. Like a hand. Mm -hmm. It's a like, mouth. It's a mouth going up. It's a, it's, like it's a, it's a head of something with a, with a claw, like reaching yeah, out. Like almost like he's reaching out for the soul of the hanged person. Yeah. You know, like turn it's... Turn the picture upside down. Turn the picture upside down. Oh, the teddy bear. The teddy bear. Oh, yeah. So if you turn the picture upside down, 
She says, it looks like there is a teddy bear here. And so she believes that maybe Charles, our haunted teddy bear, may have had uh, some influence oh, wow. there in painting yeah. a teddy bear. Do you guys see that? Do you see a teddy bear? I definitely see. I'm trying to show you guys. It's kind of mirrored. She says, if you think you painted Malcolm in true form, you think that that's Malcolm in true form? That's disturbing. Oh, oh my goodness. Too. I also saw her flower, and that's I think that's what that light gray is. It's a flower, and I got more like that was like Emily. There's definitely I, I see something else over in this area. I see a silhouette of a person here. Oh, Do you see it? The medical mask. Well, the the bird mask. The, the plague mask. Yeah. Where? The if you move your finger over, Sarah. Where the, I see. Uh, it's just me, but I see like a face with a mask. Or oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely see the like plague doctor looking face there. Oh, yeah. For sure. It almost looks like it has wings. Like, yeah. almost looks like a phoenix or something. Like, you got the wing yeah. coming up. Curled, it's still folded, but it's it curled. Like it's its and it's and it's got a beak and then it's got its its talon up. Yep. Yeah, this is really Although crazy. Wings, then it, but to me, uh, no, I definitely see a teddy bear this yeah. way. For sure. There's a lot going on here, guys. Turn it sideways, Turn it sideways like this way. <laughs> And that's what's so cool about these guys is there could be so much in these paintings. It's just like an automatic writing. Yes, you feel like you're doing it. But really, I mean, there's stuff coming through. There, There's, there's definitely communication here. We just got to decipher it. It's almost like I see mo multiple beings here. Like uh, you've the got the purple... Like, it's, like right it's here, spirit. this looks like a person here right to here, me. Right here. Well, like here. Yes. Right there. Yeah. Like it's mirrored, so I have to make sure I'm pointing ground. in the right direction. Yeah, that's very strange. Uh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And you got some color in there too. It almost looks like it's it's got like a pink teardrop coming wow, down or something. I was feeling. Um, I was hearing in my head. Um, the plant that I love the most, which is the bleeding heart plant, is what I was hearing. Oh, bleeding! bleeding, bleeding heart. So bleeding heart, so pink bleeding heart. So that's, that's cool. That's supposed to represent bleeding the bleeding heart. heart. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah this has been really like fun. Heart, actually, yeah, heart, it does. Yeah, oh, right two. here. Yeah, the two. Right hearts. there two looks almost like a heart. Yeah, very cool. Bleeding hearts reminds me of Grampy. Yeah. Um. Awesome. So those are our drawings. Um, that's very interesting. So again, I, I really hope that you guys like this kind of interactive thing. I'm really trying to, um, you know, bring you guys into the investigations more. I really want you guys to be part of it. Um, so if you guys decide that you want to submit uh, any of your drawings, we don't have to do it uh, tonight. We can always um, do a separate video. I'm trying to see if I did get any. My computer's being awful laggy now. Um, so let me see. Do you see any in the chat? I don't know if anybody submitted anything. Uh, no, Right, that's what I'm trying to look on Messenger, but my computer is being super slow. Okay. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot of communication in those pictures, like between, I, I don't know, it's like every yeah, every picture of them was... Uh, was a story every every canvas had a story on it or multiple stories it was just so so unique to do it that way i well, think to to you. um you just save the image and send it to me in messenger okay. i think that is just um a really fun way of trying to channel spirit it doesn't always have to be high tech equipment and that's the main thing about doing these different experiments again because yeah, yeah, yeah. All paranormal investigating is 
literally experimental. Nothing is concrete. Nothing is 100%. You guys need to go out and just experiment safely. Um, we have several in there. Awesome. So... Which chat is it under? Just it's in scripts to chat. I got them all. I, I okay, send them, them over to me. All right, you can see, you can upload them as an overlay. Just save them as, into your downloads and upload them as an yep. overlay into StreamYard. Stream all right, so we're going to pop up a couple of the submitted uh, artwork pieces. I'm so excited! I'm so excited okay. to actually have people submit I stuff. Is amazing. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to put them up here and we're just going to theorize. We're not going to know exactly whose is whose. We're just going to throw them in and then we can go from there. Oh, yeah. You might have to remove something. Even if you just did them one at a time. All right. So the first doodle i love it all right i see a flag i i almost like it i definitely see some sort of flag or like a cliff like i feel like it's a place you know the bottom piece i feel like it's almost like um a symbol on a map <laughs> you know what i yeah. mean what do you guys see oh i love the top one too i'm trying to see if i actually see it almost looks like a <clears throat> a number six yeah. and then There's a heart there. and an eight 68 I see 69. well i see a circle in the bottom so it wouldn't be it's a nine heart. it would it's be it does kind of look like a heart um, but like a flag <clears throat> at the bottom there. i definitely see a flag like i don't know yeah, Jasmine says she sees a place as well. Yeah, I don't. I feel like it's telling us a place. It almost has a feeling of like a pirate ship map. Jasmine <laughs> says she sees someone eating a potato chip. It does look like somebody <laughs> trying to eat oh, a potato it's a chip. Dorito. It's a Dorito. It's ranch. It's a ranch Dorito. Okay, so the next one. <laughs> All right, so the next one. I do see sixty-eight there. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's so interesting. Oh my god, I definitely see. I'm almost feeling like souls within the tree. Like, look at all the different beautiful souls of these energies. Like, oh my god, that's so interesting. I love it. Yeah. It almost kind of reminds me of the one we just looked at because the, it was more of an abstract version of this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you see the stones and then the, wow, that is really cool. And then the, the Dorito chip would have been the leaf. You know what I mean? Like I kind of see similarities between this one and the one we just looked at. I almost see a face. Oh my God, look, there's a face in the stone on the left side. Yeah, there's a couple faces. Do you yeah. see the faces, guys? Oh, I see people down in the bottom. Right down at the bottom, if you look, it's almost like um like cave paintings. Like if, yeah. if Native Americans had painted things on the walls of a cave. <laughs> I think some somebody just thought of something inappropriate. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. I really like, I really see faces in this one and the colors and everything. I definitely see rocks and like, almost like um, a canyon or a cave. And it's kind of what I saw in the other one. Like I said, it's, I'm definitely getting uh, some sort of place from these. So that's so interesting. I wonder if there's like a place nearby that has rocks and stuff. I know that there is a sand pit nearby. Okay, so the next I love one. all the colors in that though. Like the the little it's almost like little sprites or energies. Very beautiful. Very good. Yeah, no problem. I'm still studying it. That was very interesting. I love being able to see like all the symbolism. I see another face too, little faces in the in the bigger face. Wow. 
That's really cool. I love that we're able to see these, like that you guys submitted these and they're just able to, okay, to bring so this extra level to this. One. Oh my World goodness. Peace. I love it. It's so cool. Well, my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> the red angel wings. I love it. Wow. You know what I get from the red? That's the root chakra. The root that chakra. Is, that is us angels bringing down light to the to the earth to the root Right, chakra, the angels to keeping bring us peace to all that's, peace and that's grounding amazing. us. Yeah. Have? I don't know. I don't know which one's whose yet, Adam. We're gonna have to. We're doing a mystery thing right now. We don't know whose is whose. Let me know which one's Adam's. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> this next one's a real artist. Yeah, this is amazing. This blows the other ones, no offense away, but this is Adams. Real detail. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Bravo. Wonderful Bravo. skills. You did amazing. What wow. spirit were you channeling? Yeah, well, like is that the like... spirit of the Mona Lisa coming through? <laughs> <laughs> Adam, was this yours? Masterpiece. Know, <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Guys you guys are hilarious. I love it that you match my humor, <laughs> Leonardo. Thank you, Leonardo. Thank you. <laughs> That was so great. Look, guys, I switched off a of Red Bulls and I'm drinking. Oh, that light is like killer. V8 energy. It's juice. I'm trying to be healthier. Those Red Bulls will kill you. Is there anybody anymore? I don't know if we have any more submitted, but if we if we have any late submissions, we'll be sure to post them on social media. Um, this was super fun. Way awesome. Thank you so much for those of you who <laughs> you're going home now. Uh, for those of you who have participated, we're going to do a quick cord cutting ritual. I'm sorry that this uh, live stream kind of went on a little longer than I planned. I didn't expect it to be almost two hours. But uh, the we first thing Yes. So uh, take a second, guys. Just focus your intent. Rub your hand chakras together and just close the portal in your device that is connecting you to us. And take a second just to imagine your trail of energy retracting from the museum back to you and imagine that energy burning away that connected you to us so that nothing can come and bother you guys tonight while you're sleeping. Nothing can take this etheric highway back to your house and bother you until the next live stream, you guys, and until the next video, new video coming up on Sunday check it out. I'm really interested to know what you guys have to say about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I look forward to hearing your feedback, letting me know what more shenanigans you guys want to get into because I love doing this stuff. I love laughing and just having fun with you guys. Um, I was thinking about changing the schedule so um, that we're not doing. So, I mean, we asked originally what time you guys wanted and everybody voted for 11 p.m. and 9 p.m. was on the list. So I literally set this time because people were looking forward to um, the 12 a.m. investigations, but I would love to set it for 9 p.m. So I'm thinking that um, we may possibly be doing that in the future. So I'm going to have to order new cards. <laughs> But definitely um, that if you guys let me know, please give me your feedback because I really need to know these things. If you guys think it would be beneficial for all of you, for more of you to be able to be here for our lives if if they are at nine o'clock instead of 11 o'clock at night. So very much love you guys. I appreciate you all being here, like I said, and you guys are awesome. And thank you so much for submitting your artwork. And it just really made the night just over the top for me. I just, it was so amazing. So I will see you guys very soon and see you on Sunday 
for those videos. I look forward to uh, hearing what you guys have to say. Good night, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.